It's the crust. So it's, it's not like the toppings. It's totally the crust that I love. Business in the front, party in the back, basically, with the whole thin crust. It's like a mullet of pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Eye to Eye, Disney Through Our Eyes. I'm Kyle. And I'm Jessica. And it's time for another Disney dining review from our October 2018 trip. This time, we're doing the infamous, or famous, whichever way you look at it. Pizza Fari! I was wondering if she was going to do her, <laughs> the way she normally calls it. This dates back to our very first trip together in 2012? 12. 12. 12. When we tried this for the very first time at Disney's Animal Kingdom, and she could not stop talking about it. It is Every not that great, but it is that great. It is awesome! Everybody has that one thing that they know is not like the best thing in the world to have, but it's theirs, and this is Jessica. This is like, this is a must-do every time we go to Disney World. We cannot skip Pizza Fari. I don't care what the other options are. So she'll you ask me, I, I'm the planner. I plan yes. out our day for yes. us. When we go to Animal Kingdom, she's like, all right, well, what are fast passes? And she's like, okay, and when are we going to be going to Pizza Fari? Yep. Now, don't worry about all the other great dining options there. No, no, no. When are we going Pizza to Pizza Fari? So let's talk a little bit about it. It's okay. not a lot to go into detail here because it's your basic quick service Disney stuff. Just for those who have not been, give you an idea of where it's located. You come straight in from the entrance of Animal Kingdom. Take a left on the uh, ed left edge there of Discovery Island. And right before you get to Pandora now, you will Ooh, find this right there little, on the corner. Little, 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 it looks small, it's but not. when you go inside, this thing is ginormous and it is one of those places that just it's eats people. Always up. crowded. Always. It doesn't matter if you go literally when they open the doors at 11 or if you go at 3 in the afternoon. It is packed there all the time. Must be something in the pizza. I'm telling you. Also, let's be real, because I think you can get this pizza anywhere. Like, I think it's the same pizza no, that they serve, like, never at the resorts. I think it's the same pizza that they serve at all parks. However. There is something about Pizza Fari Pizza. It is different. I will say, I, I think the general recipe is the same. They made an effort about two or three years ago to kind of switch from just your traditional round personal pizzas to the flatbread style on most of their pizzas now. So I think they're trying to kind of hip them up a little Not bit. Not so I like the round. We did get the rounds this time, didn't we? Yeah, I duh, we got it. traditional. But, but they give you a salad with it. So that's the good thing here. And this is one set up perfectly for the Disney dining plan so that you can get a side with it. And they just kind of built it already into the price. And it's cheaper than some other pizza places we have because yes. you've already got your side salad or whatever else comes with your pers personal pizza in it. But you obviously have to purchase your drink as well. Um, as typical for Disney, you know, spend four dollars on a drink that you can't get a refill on, but I'm not bitter anyway. Keep in mind as well, with this always being busy and being right next to Pandora, it's even more busy now. And your line, you're just gonna have to pack your patience and pack your patience for trying to find a seat as well. And literally, so we had to split up, and it's dangerous. Kyle move. was in charge of getting the food, and I was in charge of finding a table. Literally, had to make a friend and say, Hi, I see you're not using these two chairs on the end. Can we bunk up with you? And literally, that's what we had to do. Made some friends, and it is what it is. And she actually found one right next to the, like, condiment, not condiments, but the utensils yeah. area and stuff. So we kind of lucked out in that in that sense. Exactly. But it's one of those things, when you go to Pizza Fari, just know, the minute you're done eating, please be courteous and yes. get up. Don't be rude and hang out there. Go outside. Let somebody else have your table because there are lots right. of families with children that need to sit down. It's just a good Disney courtesy thing for that you can do for other guests there yeah. because especially this is a place that's huge for families because it's easy to get. Everybody likes pizza. There's going to be a lot yeah. of people with kids there that want to have the seat come do down and probably crash for 30 yeah. minutes. Let them have the seat once you're done, especially if you're in like a situation like us where we don't have kids yet. Right. It's just and we don't have grandparents with this. You know, it just that is one of my pet peeves when you see like an older gentleman or an older lady, you know, waiting to sit down and a young person sitting on their phone, clearly done eating. That drives me bonkers. Have some respect. There are a lot of other shaded places around uh, Animal Kingdom that you can go and have a better view, honestly. Nobody yes. wants to sit there and stare at me eating the pizza for 30 minutes. But uh, so let's talk about the food. Let's talk about the menu in general before, because it's pretty obvious probably what we got here, especially for me, knowing I'm not the adventurous one. Uh, but Okay, so I didn't know that this was an option until we looked at the menu right now. Okay. We now have a shrimp flatbread. Mm -hmm. Kind of scares me a little bit. I don't want shrimp from a fast food place. Let's be real. 
but it's Disney, and that's a little bit different than fast fast food at Disney is different than fast food. I don't at know. McDonald's. Somebody else try it. Let me know if it's good. I'm I'm open to the possibility. This is is one of those things I would be intrigued to try. Is it any good? But then at the same time, I really love the pepperoni pizza. I don't think I can give that up. So they have the typical pepperoni pizza, a cheese pizza, sausage and pepperoni pizza, a vegetable pizza, which I did get one time and it was okay. Not as good as pepperoni. Then you get the Caesar salad or you can get a true Caesar salad with chicken on it as your meal. You also have some side items that you can get beside your uh, salad stuff that usually comes with it. Uh, you can get a tomato basil soup if you're wanting something different. And then garlic knots. Did we ever try these? Never. I didn't know they had those. I saw them on the menu last time, and I swear I thought we got them at one point. You know, honestly, to be fair, I have never stood in line at Pizza Fari. We have always, in six years, we have always split up. I'm in charge of getting a table, and Kyle's in charge of getting it's a table. It's time to change things starting now. Obviously, you've got a ton of options, not ton, but some options for kids uh, as well. And then you've got a small selection as all quick service do for desserts. So got, right now, currently, as we're doing this, they have Thanksgiving cupcake, which... Which is weird. I don't remember that one. Yellow cake filled with cinnamon mousse topped with a buttercream and chocolate turkey. And then they had a cannoli cake, which actually sounds really good. Yes, I did see that. Chocolate cake with chocolate chip cannoli filled topping. Chocolate ganache garnished with mini cannoli filled... Mini cannoli filled with sweet ricotta cheese and chocolate chips. That just sounds really good. Yeah, I'm um, not mad at that. Again, when we're at Animal Kingdom, we mean business, so we didn't have time to eat all these desserts unless no. we're on the dining plan. Then we will take advantage of them. Uh, that being said, so we got two pepperoni So pizzas. that's literally your whole menu. That so is. So it's pretty small. Really easy to make a choices there. Yes. Quick in, out. Yes, I'm not mad at any quick service that has a small menu. I love it. Keep it moving. All right. So we got two pepperoni pizzas, and those came with side Caesar salads. That got us to 20 total, so 10 a piece. That's nice, even numbers. Well, you can't see the... Oh, that's that's right there. I, I, for, I forgot about that. Yeah. that is, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so we got pepperoni pizzas. Uh, and then we actually didn't split drinks here because when you're in Animal Kingdom, you are walking a lot, and it, you get thirsty. So. Yeah. And let's be fair, Jessica needed her diet coke. <laughs> Pal point. probably could have split one with me, but I just, I was, no, I needed it. Three ninety nine sodas, uh, not refillable, so just keep that in mind. Don't slurp it down, uh, but that's also why we didn't share one as well. Right. So that brought our total on this too, and I've got to look at this. I had it written down there. It's twenty eight ninety six subtotal, and then thirty eighty five with tax. So fifteen dollars so per person. Yeah. Disney, not a bad deal. They yeah. do put this in the price range of about 15 to 20 okay. I think is where it's listed at. So right on the money there yep. for us. We didn't get But dessert. this is my favorite pizza in all of Disney. If we haven't said that enough, it is. But you got to say, like, what is it? It's the crust. It's the crust. Oh, I was getting yeah. there. So the, the literal crust on the outside is thick, but it's cooked perfectly. But then the part that the sauce and the cheese and everything on is kind of thinner. But the sauce, it, there's enough sauce on it that you can dip your crust in it, and it's like extra marinara sauce. It's the crust. So it's, it's not like the toppings. It's totally the crust that I love. Business in the front, party in the back, basically, with the whole thin crust. It's like a mullet base. of pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, we are going to change our rating system retroactively, not retroactively, but just on the fly here. Normally, we just come up with some weird one that... It reminds what of What are you going to change to mullets? We're going to do mullet pizzas. How many, on a scale of one to five mullet pizzas, how would you rate Pizza Fari? Five. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to disappoint her a little bit here. It's all right. It's, I have a couple of other quick service options I'll pick over this in Animal Kingdom. So I would give this a four. It is okay. still good pizza. I agree with you about the crust, the accessibility of it. Quick, it's, they've yet to fail us in terms of satisfying That's true. Us. We've never had a bad experience here. So, Pizza Fari, you get pretty high range, just perfect. You know, this, let me put this in perspective. She gave Ohana a five, and now she's giving Pizza Fari a five. Uh, duh, they're on the at same least level. My, at least I gave Beaches and Cream a five with Ohana. Anyway. No, we, no, Pizza Fari is way better than Beaches and Cream. Anyway, we want to know I'm now... Choosing. From you in the comments section below, if you have been to Pizza Far, what do you think and what would you give it a rating on one to five pizza mullets, if that's what you want to use. Mullet pizzas, pizza mullets. mullets. Ah, so let us know down there in the comments section below what else should I do. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and you can check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And that's all we have for you on this edition of I2I, but until we assemble again. May the force be with you. And we'll see you real soon. Bye. What was that, Jessica? Would you like to repeat that? 
I take a dust rag to this shelf and clean. It gives it character. Dust gives it character. I have dust on me and I have character. I don't know what your line is either. I can't help you. Pizza Fari!